All right, ladies, let's get those jams on your hands. I have one hand unjammed and one hand <laughs> jammed. I'm going to show you how to get them done. Um, I have glitz and fuzzy grape for my jam here today. I'm doing um, my pinky nail and my thumbnail with the fuzzy grape, and then I'm going to do three glitz right in the middle. I just wanted to give you a little video, show you how easy they are, and um, show you the five, maybe four or five things that you need to put jams on your ham, hand, and you should have them already. Um, I use just a little pair of scissors. These are nail scissors, but you could just as easily use a regular pair of scissors. I have an orange stick, cuticle pusher, just very basic. They're like $2 for a pack of 50 of them. Super easy. Um, nail clippers, nail file, and if you really want, you can use a tweezer to hold your jams. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's just easier to grab with my fingers and go. Um, I'm just going to show you one quick nail. Well, I'm going to put my pinky, my pinky nail on. Um, what you basically start with is a your sheet of jams, which I have already put two nails on. You can see I have two spots that are um, open. And they're clear, so you can easily put your finger underneath the jams and see if it's going to fit. And you just kind of use it as a size guide. You want to make sure that the wrap is not going to be touching or sitting on your cuticle or anywhere off of your nail bed. It just needs to be straight up on your nail. That's how you're going to get your best seal. Now I have short nails this week so instead of cutting my jams in half like I would do sometimes if, I have, if I'm working with some long nails I'm cutting them closer to thirds and that's going to leave me a little bit in the middle that I will eventually put on my toes because those baby toes they barely take up any of your sheet so there we go that's gonna be left and I'll be able to use that for my next pedicure that I need the purple for so here I have my jam Let's see if I can get it so you can see my arm doesn't really twist that way just this little part. I have my heater, which you could just as easily use a hair dryer. You can hear that this turns on and has very little sound. That's nice for right now I have a sleeping four year old in the next room. So if I was using the hair dryer off and on, off and on, that might be a problem. Um, so I'm going to heat my nail up, my wrap up. Get it nice and warm. Just a few seconds. You're going to really see it change from this stiff nail wrap to a nice soft wrap. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up on my finger. And before I really push hard, I want to just make sure it's there. And it's not, it's a little bit off center, so I'm just going to move it back easily. You can easily peel it up, put it back down. There, much better. And I'm just going to use pressure all around just using my finger and pushing hard from the cuticle all the way up through the tip of the nail. I'm going to heat that one more time, just a few more seconds, basically as long as your finger can stay in front of the heat. And then I really like to use a soft cuticle pusher or a rubber cuticle pusher and you can get right into the cuticle, push that right down, get lots of pressure. The more heat, well not really the more heat, but getting it nice and warmed up and then putting lots of pressure onto your nail, that's going to be how you get your best results. So there I am. It's on. You can see that there's just a little bit above. And what I'm going to do is let this cool down, which I'll just do it now, but I would tend to let this cool down. Maybe go through and do all of my nails and then go back to where I started 
and clip them down. That way it has time to cool down a little bit, kind of shrink back, and get all set. And then all I have to do is come in and I just use my clippers and take a little bit of nail right along with it, which is going to give me a really nice seal. Perfect. Then I'll just use a file and going, you want to make sure that when you file you're starting up and going down. That's going to push your nail down onto your wrap. If you start at the bottom and go up, you're going to be pulling that wrap away from your nail. And it will get snug, snagged on, especially if it's not completely cool. And then I'm just, I just use my cuticle, orange, the orange stick, and scrape right under there, and that little piece of wrap just comes off. And there we go. Beautiful. The tips look good. I don't know if you can see that, nice and straight, and it is on. Then I'm just going to do the exact same thing with the rest of my hands, and I will be set to go. They will look just like this.